All right, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to do a very quick video and that is going to be on the suspension adjustment for the Gen 1 Raptor, otherwise known as the mid-perch mount. Uh, the Raptors from factory come with uh, several perch settings for the front and uh, the factory setting is on the low perch. So a lot of guys like to actually increase it to the mid perch. There's also a high perch mount and that is pretty much just the three different settings on the front of this truck. A lot of pickup trucks, especially the Raptors, come uh, from the factory a little raked where the front end is a little bit lower than the rear. So what this does is just levels out the truck. So we're uh, just shy of 40 inches right here to the uh, center of this um, defender well here. So it'll be interesting to see where this sits after the fact, hopefully at least an inch higher. All right, just for fun, I'm gonna measure slightly behind. So look at the height of mirror, 51 and a half. So that would be another metric. 40 inches, this is 51 and a half. The roof's kind of tough because you have to sort of pick a point. Um, maybe we'll look at the hood. I mean, it's all going to increase at about the same until you get further back. Oh, let's do to this. We're right. toe hook 16 and 3 quarters. Yeah, 16 and 3 quarters, right kind of the center of this. And then. This is a lower point on the truck, so this bolt here, just right at 11 inches. So 11 inches to this bolt, if you have a truck, it's kind of the lower point of this front skid plate here. So that'll be at least 12 inches, I would think. And this would raise, be raised a little bit, yeah. Okay, that's all we'll do for now. Cold start. All right, what's going on guys? And welcome to the second part of the shock rebuild video. Uh, I will tell you, I didn't do the installation myself. I had a shop do it just because of time and convenience and obviously the tools and the manpower. I just wasn't a project I was going to uh, do myself. So. I have to tell you, if you guys have anywhere around 100,000 miles in your truck, definitely do new shocks or do a rebuild or something like that. So what's really popular, especially with the Gen 1s, is uh, I used a company called TSW Off-Road, Texas Shock Works. I'll put a link in the description. Not a, a promotional company or a sponsor or anything like that. Just very popular. They have a really cool website where you can pick the condition, like A through D, and then all the different variables of the shocks that you want back that you'll put on the truck. Fully rebuild, they have a warranty, and they're very well known. Um, so I went with uh, TSW, again, not a sponsor, but they have really good support and everyone likes them, and so far, really good service. So a couple of the things that I did change, uh, we will get in the truck in just a few minutes here, but I want to do a couple measurements and a quick little thought for you. Um, the upgrades I did, so I kept it pretty simple because this is a street driven truck mainly. Um, I did the mid perch mount, so that is definitely one of the most notable items. It's an extra, you know, 60 bucks for them to adjust it to the mid perch. I say that combined with the new shocks makes this thing handle significantly different. Like the nose dive is absolutely at a minimum. It's not stiff up front. Like I was worried that it would just be like jittery or like hard to kind of feel. Um, like the way that the truck is handling and just kind of not predictable like the way I was used to. Um, but there's none of that. Literally, if you're considering doing mid-perch, whether you are rebuilding these or not, definitely do it. Makes it obviously a little flatter. We're gonna do a measurement in a second. Um, so definitely do mid-perch. I did the full refinishing of the shocks that I got back, so it makes them nicer, cleaner. They look pretty much brand new. Um, they are rebuild, so they're not from factory brand new, but for something like this 100,000 mile vehicle, it wasn't really worth spending the extra money. So the other thing I did was the Schrader valves, which just allows you to check or adjust the nitrogen, I think is what's inside these things. So not a huge change, uh, but it is nice kind of while you're in there. In the future, if you need to make any adjustments or do a check of some sort, uh, it's nice to have that feature. So anyways, that is definitely 
100% worth it. If you guys are on the fence or whatever, uh, or weren't even considering it before, definitely do it. Um, I wish I would have done it sooner, and this thing is so much nicer to drive without the nose dive. And I think part of that is definitely due to the mid perch mount, it stiffens up a little bit, and then also with the refurbished shocks, obviously uh, that improves it too. So let's do some measurements here, and then we will jump on the road a little bit, and I'll give you some sort of further away shots of the truck just because it does raise it up. Um, and at first, when I rolled up to it, I was a little um, nervous that it wouldn't fit in the garage, but it still does. Obviously we're in here. Um, it does raise the front up about an inch or so. Let's, so let's do some measurements. Uh, if you guys remember last time, um, the measurements here, I'll actually put them on the screen cause I don't remember exactly what it is, but you can be as scientific as possible. So the center is about 41. Mine is lifted about an inch and a quarter or so. Most guys, I think at least on the forums, they'll raise between an inch and an inch and a half. A lot of people say an inch and a half, but I'm at an inch and a quarter um, and it's you know settled or whatever, so I don't really see why it would be much different. Um, so anyways, yeah, so it's lifting that. And then I did do one other measurement for fun. Remember. Bottom of the mirror is 52, and I believe before it was about 51. So obviously as you move further back uh, towards the back of the truck, I don't expect the height to be much different. I didn't even measure there. So this is about an inch and a quarter, maybe a tad bit more. And this is not you know scientific, but I was curious. So we are at 18 and three quarters. So to the bottom of this thing, so I don't remember exactly what it was last time. Um, so I'll put that on the screen. And then I had this bolt, I remember measuring. So that's about 12, 12 and three quarters. You know, this will be the same, but yeah. So 12 and three quarters, which is pretty much the lowest bolt on this front skid plate here. Um, so if you're curious, 12 and three quarters, I have the measurement for this. All right, so I think that's gonna do it for the measurements of this truck. Again, 100% uh, recommend doing this to the, the Gen 1 or and Gen 2, really, for, for that matter. It's weird that like Fox, makes these trucks and the suspension with the mid perch in in mind but they sell it at the low perch which sucks i'm just kind of getting a little view here but anyways all right so let's jump in the truck i'll grab the other camera but you guys can see that wheel gap it's kind of funny yeah. with the truck you kind of want at least with the raptor you want the wheel gap i'm so used to the car where you're like oh no you know not the too much wheel gap there so anyways yeah a little more wheel gap, which is a good thing in this case. All right, guys, real quick, I want to show you from the outside just a quick little raw footage for you. Truck is outside, and I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's definitely sitting a lot more flat, level. Uh, the front, especially, you can see, I mean, this is really where the inch and, inch and a quarter, inch and a half, you can definitely see in there a lot better. Uh, when I first walked up to it, I was a little nervous. I'm like, oh my god, I don't know if this thing's going to fit in the garage, but yeah, much better. This thing's finally sitting right, and the beauty is it's so much more functional, drives better, looks better, performs better on and off-road. There's really no sacrifices. Um, a lot of times when you get... Um, street mods or off-road mods or whatever you know you're kind of sacrificing certain things and i think in this case this is this should be factory um this should be the way that it should come factory but yeah so anyways uh that's what the mid perch mount looks like really love it definitely recommend it obviously and uh shoot me an email if you have any questions i'm not a pro but um spent some time researching and figuring out you know, kind of a default thing, but definitely love the change to the truck.